Well, we're now coming to the next stage of the rendering process. And you can just see now, we've scraped the back of the wax that we gathered. It's about um, five, or well, a couple of centimetres thick. And that's the front of it, so it still needs another render down. So the next process will be to place it on the floor. We've got to break it up into fairly small bits, so I'm just going to smash it up like that. And then from this stage, we will then put it into, well, we'll gather all the, the uh, wax together and we'll put it into another pot. We're going to heat it back up again and then uh, let the rubbish that's in there settle down in water. And that'll be our next stage. And we'll take you through that uh, in a minute. Right, we're just into the second stage now. We have brought the wax into the house, all broken up. It's gone into a large pan, as you can see, and we're just getting water poured onto it. We have to put water into it to uh, allow the rubbish to settle underneath the wax so we can scrape it for a second time. Um, the joys of making beeswax and doing this rendering down is that the whole house just smells absolutely amazing with beeswax permeating everywhere. So here we go, this is a long process. This process now will take about two hours to get the max to wax, sorry, to melt down completely and then we can let it solidify and again we'll then be scraping the bottom of it off. So here's the end result of the, of the second meltdown. We now have to leave it to cool down and it'll start to solidify, but then all the rubbish will then sink to the bottom as it starts to solidify. And from this that point on then, we can then, once it's cold, and it'll take about six to eight hours, we can then do the next batch as we've got two or three batches to do.